So uh, I'm going to start with a description of exactly what Kojo is. And uh, essentially, Kojo is a learning environment uh, for kids to learn uh, things in a variety of different areas. And some of these areas are uh, computer programming, mathematics and science, art, music, other kinds of creative work. And of course, as kids work with Kojo, they also hopefully get better at uh, using computers and using the internet. Uh, from a slightly different perspective, Kojo is like a gym for your brain, where you kind of exercise your brain and exercise your logical thinking and your critical thinking abilities. It's a studio where you uh, create music, you create art, you create uh, stories. So it's an outlet for your uh, creative abilities. And it's also a laboratory where you can experiment with mathematical ideas. Okay? So, so the first thing we're going to look at is, uh, is the fact that the, f the fundamental thing that you do within Kojo is to write programs with, with a turtle. Uh, and I'll give you some examples of the kinds of programs that you can write. So, so here are a couple of examples. So for example, if you want to create art using Kojo, uh, you could write something like this. And then you have uh, a nice and colorful figure with a lot of different shapes. And the whole idea here is that uh, once you learn a few uh, fundamentals of programming within Kojo, you can then combine the fundamentals in, in whatever way you want and uh, create whatever kind of artwork or pattern that you want on the screen. Okay, so, so that's one of the ideas with Kojo. Uh, the other thing that you can do is to make uh, different kind of patterns. And here's an example of that. Okay, so this is also an example of a certain kind of artwork uh, within Kojo, but this is a different kind of a pattern. Okay, the uh, another kind of thing that you can do within Kojo is to... Uh, play with mathematical concepts. So Kojo has a virtual laboratory for mathematics built inside it, and you can go into that laboratory and play with mathematical ideas. And you get to that laboratory by going to Math World under the, 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 uh, under the window menu. So here, uh, what we're going to do is uh, play with algebra and geometry uh, so uh, would somebody mind telling me what what's algebra variables. yes exactly so it's arithmetic with variables where uh, you look at patterns between numbers and uh, you can look at patterns between numbers with the help of equations right so we're gonna look at a certain kind of equation here right now you're gonna look at a linear equation in two variables and this equation has two different parameters uh, so I'm gonna just put them in here <coughs> so one parameter is M uh, the other one is C and then right at the bottom here I'm gonna punch in uh, the equation that I want to investigate which is Y is equal to M can somebody tell me the uh, equation of a straight line there's a standard form for the equation yeah y is equal to mx plus in this case I'm calling it c okay so I put in the equation and then I hit enter and Kojo kind of draws the equation out for me so I can visualize it okay and I can also uh, once the equation is on the screen I can go and change the parameters of the equation to see how the parameters affect the shape of the equation so can somebody tell me how m affects the shape of this equation What's M changing? Yeah. The slope. Exactly. So M changes the slope of the uh, of the line. And what does C change? What does C control? Anyone else? Yeah. Yeah, it, it changes the Y intercept and uh, the corresponding X intercept. Uh, so the whole idea is that uh, as you learn algebra, uh, as you learn different kinds of equations within algebra, 
you can come inside Kojo, put the equations in, visualize them, play with the parameters within the equations, and you know, hence hopefully get a better feel for what the equation means and how it works. I'm gonna just mention that uh, within this virtual lab for mathematics inside Kojo, there are about 50 different tools for doing geometry. And I encourage you to, you know, if you're interested in, in geometry, go into these tools and play around with it. Should be pretty simple to play with. Uh, the other kind of thing you can do within Kojo is to make animations. And I'll show you an example of that. I go into samples and staging. And let's try the, uh, the clock animation. So that's like a 38 line program that draws a clock on the screen. Okay, so uh, as you learn more and more about programming within Kojo, you can use uh, the animation capabilities of Kojo to make different kinds of animations. Okay, so uh, another example of an animation would be this. Okay, and this... Uh, demonstrates the definition of an angle in radians and the corresponding sign of an angle and uh, without going in into the content of this animation the whole idea is to show you that with Kojo you can do things like this okay so let me go back and the last thing I want to show you within Kojo is the fact that you can do music with Kojo So, so you can write small, short computer programs within Kojo where you define your musical comp composition and then you run the program to play the music. Yeah. Uh, that was just a piece of code that I'd written earlier and I just kept it somewhere else and I just copied it over to Okay, so, so uh, that kind of shows you that you can compose and play music within Kojo. Any questions on any of the things I've said so far? Yeah, that's where the musical composition abilities come in, right? You've got to have some basic knowledge of music. And then you've got to say, okay, let me start with C. Now in, my, in the melody that I'm creating, what would sound good after C? Okay, then come up with the next note and the next. So come up with a tune then decide, okay, what chords should accompany this, this tune? What percussion instruments should accompany the music? That's something where you, you know, uh, build from the basics of music and come up with your own composition. Uh, okay, so, uh, so that's the introduction to Kojo portion of this, this talk, this session. So let me now move on to uh, the lesson for today ideas from which you're going to use in the in the lab later on uh, and I'm going to do this really quickly okay because uh, with this group we're going to try to do something more complicated right something more complex so uh, I'd like to talk about user defined commands okay uh, so uh, could somebody name a few commands within Kojo that you know of could somebody name a command yeah Okay, forward. Anything else? Yeah. Repeat. Clear. Clear. Uh, so these are predefined commands within Kojo that you can use right away, but you also have the ability to create your own commands within Kojo. Okay, and the way you do that is like this. So uh, let's say we wa we wanted to make a staircase on the screen. Okay, where each stair would be like a vertical line, then a horizontal line. That would be one stair. And then we want a whole staircase of stairs like that. So uh, I could create a command called stair <coughs> and give it an input, uh, which is the size of the stair that this command should make. And then uh, how do you think we should make a s stair within Kojo? Uh, what would be the commands to make a stair if the stair was like a one line like this and one line, li line like this. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with the forward <coughs> and go forward by size and then turn right. OK. 
okay and then go forward by the same size is that it or anything else okay so uh, so we've defined a stair command now let's use it sir I'm gonna say clear and then repeat eight times stair okay and then I'm gonna make a little landing here where I turn right and go forward by let's say 40 and then turn left okay so so I'm trying to b trying to build uh, two flights of stairs with a landing in between and here's my second flight no that's not what I wanted so let's see okay so and uh, let's try to run this program now okay there is a problem unspecified value parameter for size okay so so stead uh, which is the command that we've just created takes one input and I forgot to give it the input so this needs to be let's say 20 and 20 okay so let's run this thing so it makes the first flight then the landing and then the second flight right so what I want you to understand from this is how to define commands of your own okay try to f uh, understand these few lines and the fact that if you want to make a command of your own you have to put in a def keyword then whatever name you want for your command followed by uh, the inputs for the command and then within braces the body of the command which is whatever the command needs to do okay so uh, if you understand that idea any questions on that by the way yeah. Uh, right. It uh, it specifies the type of the input to the command, and uh, given a type, uh, Kojo knows where all that type can be applied. So uh, so with a the type, there are two things that that Kojo knows. It knows where you can apply the type and what operations are available on that type. Okay. So. Uh, if this type is an int and you and you try to set the s pen color to the size Kojo would know that the pen color should be of type color not of type int right so for example if I just to kind of show you if I said set pen color to size given that uh, Kojo knows the type of size is int it should complain that you know hey this is not possible so if I bring up my output pane say type mismatch right 